All right, guys. Well, it is 10. Let's go ahead and get started. So welcome. This is a 45 minute all levels hit class, high intensity interval training. Don't let the name scare you. I'll be giving you ways to amp things up as we go, ways to scale them down. You will be able to find a way to make this class work for you and your fitness level. That being said, the class is meant to be challenging. So you should not be comfortable. <laughs> you should be challenged during it. Cool. All right. Let's go ahead and all get started in downward facing dog. I need to adjust my Facebook camera because it is decapitating me. <laughs> and we'll all get started in down dog, that upside down V shape that we know and love in yoga. Just starting to pedal the feet out. Shaking your head yes, shaking your head no. And if you want to play music in the background on your end, please go ahead and do so. I won't be playing any on my end. I might help motivate you a little bit on this Saturday morning. Go ahead, find stillness in your down dog. Inhale, rise up to the tippy toes. Exhale, drop the heels down. Good. Inhale, rise the tippy toes. Exhale, drop the heels. One more time. Inhale, rise the toes. Exhale, drop the heels. Inhale, bend the knees to hover them about six inches above the mat. You should feel like you're crouching. Good. Exhale, straighten the legs. Down dog. Inhale, bend the knees to hover and crouch. Good. Exhale, push back down dog. Inhale, bend the knees to hover and crouch. Look to the top of your mat, step or hop to the top of the mat, forward fold. Option here to grab for opposite elbows. Maybe you sway from side to side. Bending your knees as much as you need to release the lower back. Maybe you shake your head yes, shake your head no. And slowly release the arms, let them hang long. Peel up to standing one vertebrae at a time. Head, neck, and shoulders are the very last things to rise. Mountain pose. Inhale, arms lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway lift, hands to shins, flat back, draw the shoulder blades together. Exhale, fold. Plant the palms, step the right foot back and the left foot back. High to low push up or all the way down to your belly. Inhale, upward facing dog or baby cobra. You choose. Exhale, push back, down dog. Look forward to the hands, step or hop to the top of the mat, fold. Inhale, reach all the way up. Exhale, hands to your heart. Inhale, arms lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway lift, hands to shins, flat back, draw the shoulder blades together. Exhale, fold. Plant the palms, step the right foot back. Low lunge. Inhale, arms lift, high lunge. Exhale, hands to the mat, plant the palms, step the foot back, high to low push up or all the way down to the belly. Inhale, up dog or baby cobra. Exhale, push back down dog. Inhale the right leg up and back, three-legged dog. Exhale, step the foot between the hands, plant, low lunge. Inhale, arms lift, high lunge. Exhale, hands to the mat, plant the palms, big transition. Step all the way forward into the forward fold. Good. Inhale, reach all the way up. Exhale, fold all the way down. Inhale. Halfway lift, hands to shins, flat back, draw the shoulder blades together. Exhale, fold. Plant the palms, step the left foot back, low lunge. Inhale, arms lift, high lunge. Exhale, hands to the mat, plant the palms, step the foot back, high to low push up or all the way down to the belly. Inhale, upward facing dog or baby cobra, you choose. Exhale, push back, down dog. Inhale, left leg up and back, three-legged dog. 
Exhale, step the foot between the hands, plant, low lunge. Inhale, arms lift, high lunge. Exhale, hands to the mat, step straight forward into the fold and hold. Option here to take your favorite forward fold. Maybe you reach your hands behind the back, clasp for opposite hands, opposite elbows, that might be nice. Maybe you shake your head yes, shake your head no. And slowly release the arms, let them hang long. Heel up to standing one vertebrae at a time. Head, neck, and shoulders are the very last things to rise, mountain pose. All right, guys, moving on to the hip portion. We have burpees. So, You've done class with me before. You know that I always like to start off with burpees because I never like them. They never get easier, but they're such an effective move. So in this class, your basic burpee, arms lift, hands to the mat, step one foot back, step the other foot back, step one foot in, the other foot in, arms lift. And that's your basic burpee, cool? Now, if you have a favorite type of burpee, that you know, that you love, that you want to do from the very beginning, please go ahead and do that. I will be giving you ways to scale up this basic burpee as we move throughout class. Cool? All right. You have about 10 seconds or so. Grab a water towel off. Mentally decide, like, I can do this. We're going to be pushing hard for 20 seconds. Resting for 10. Rinse and repeat. All right, guys. We move together. In three, two, and one, go. Arms lift, hands to the mat, step one foot back, the other foot back, one foot in, other foot in, arms lift, good. So starting to pick up the pace once you get the move down. Breathing through it for three, two, and one, break. All right, first addition, add a little hop at the top. Hands to the mat, step one foot back, the other foot back, and then you move through. We move in three, in two, and one, go. So adding that hop in again. The additions are just suggestions. You can always take it or leave it. Good. Breathing through it, good work, guys. Here we go, less than 10. We're in three. Two, and one, break. Whew. Shake those legs out, all right. Next addition, when you're in that crouched position, play with shooting the legs back, shooting them in, and then moving through. And go, in the push. Breathing, breathing. Maybe you start counting how many you can get, knowing that we're only here for 20 seconds. Good work. For three, two, and one, break. All right, next addition. When you're in this high plank position, add a push up, and then move through. And we're in the push, go. I know, these are quick. They don't get easier, but we get stronger. Less than 10. Breathing. Two. Last one. And done. All right. Challenge. Try them on one leg. Changes things. We move. In three, two, one. Go. Burpees on one leg. Not as easy as it seems. Woo. I'm hopping all over the place, guys. <laughs> And I'm kicking my door. Two and one. Whew. All right, switch up your leg if you took that variation. We move in two and one. Left leg, go. Moving through, keeping it up, right? Heart rate should be elevated. If you are not breathing hard, you need to work harder. You should be. Able to speak in at the most choppy sentences. Two and one. Whew. 
All right, two more sets of burpees. Decide what variation you want to do. We move in three, and two, and one. Go in the push. See how quick you can move this round. Make this round about speed. Quick, 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 quick. I know, I know, I'm right there with you. Here we go, guys, here we go. Two. One. Whew. All right. One more. And in the push, here we go. Last 20 seconds. Then we're done with burpees. What a good day. Breathing. Woo -wee. I'm right there with you. I'm right there with you guys. And stop. Good work. Go ahead. Shift the weight into the right foot. Reach back. Grab it for the quad. Let the heart rate come down. Breathe. You're done with burpees. And release. Other leg. And release. Grab water, towel off. We're gonna move into our next move. Exciting times. You're like, oh damn, she brought a notebook. It's serious today. <laughs> All right. We have plank jacks. So, level one of plank jacks. You find this high plank position and you just tap it out. Keeping your booty tucked, gaze down at the mat, tap it out, tap, tap, tap. That's level one. If you wanna go ahead and start at level two, you hop both feet out, both feet in, keeping the booty tucked, then you make it quick. Cool? I'll be giving us ways to scale that up as we go. We move in five. Meet me there. I know. Quick. Three, two, and one. Go. So either stepping your feet side to side or you're hopping both feet outside of the mat and then in. No matter which variation you are doing, tucking the booty. Not forgetting to breathe. Fingers spread wide, palms planted. Three, two, and one. Break. So actually your mat is a really good tool for this move. Shows you how wide your feet should be, but you can always move it out of the way. And in the push. Go. Really engaging through the core. Notice if your weight is leaning back and that makes the booty go up. Uh-uh, tap the booty, shift the weight forward over the palms, fingers should be spread wide to help distribute that weight. And stop. This is an ass and abs class, so this is ab work. Three, two, and one in the push. See how quick you can go this round. Make this round about speed, quick, quick. Either tapping it out side to side, side to side, one foot at a time, or both feet, less than 10, Good work, good work. Three, two, and one. All right, I know you were dying for a way to amp this up. We're gonna add a donkey kick, if you would like. So you'll do your plank jack, and then you'll do a donkey kick by kicking the feet towards the booty. Take it or leave it, in three, we move. Two, and one, go. Plank jack, donkey kick, plank jack, Donkey kick, making it smooth and quick. Who oh, burning the arms? It's a sneaky. Less than 10. Again, this is an optional variation. How can you still move? Even if that's level one, that's success. And break. Oh, shake those wrists out. We've been on them for a while. We move in three. Meet me there. Two, any of the variations. One, and go. So one of the questions I get a lot is my wrists hurt, Sandy. How can I still do these? Well, if you're looking at me, which you shouldn't be, you'll see I have my hands in fists. That helps me protect my wrists a little bit. Here we go, guys, less than 10. 
keeping it up. Three, two, and one. Knees. Good work. Three more. One minute left of work. So maybe you do one of each variation. Ha! It's a nice plan. Three, two, and one. Go. Maybe you just hop it out. Hop it out. Quick, quick, quick. Quick form check. Are you still engaging the belly? Is the booty tucked? Breathing. Three, two, and one. Knees. Two more. So little time left in this move. Three, meet you there. Two, and one, go. Maybe you just try the regular plank jack. If you've been stepping it out, the worst thing that's gonna happen, guys, is you're gonna be like, that's not for me, and you go back to where you were. But maybe, just maybe, you might impress yourself. Three, two, and one, knees. Last round. We move in three, two, and one, go. I'm going for the full one, plank jack, donkey kick. Plank jack, donkey kick. Form check. Woo! Less than 10. I know, I know. Three, two, and one. Woo! Go ahead, come to the knees. Or any comfortable seat, really doesn't matter. Right arm over and across. Actively controlling your breath. Bringing the heart rate down. Use your recoveries wisely. Switch your arms. Good work, guys. It was sunny here for like a day yesterday. <laughs> now it's cloudy again. Sometimes I think I live in Seattle. Go ahead, release the arms, grab water, towel off. We're all gonna stand back up for this next move. It's a fun one. In, out, hops or steps. So, level one, we're all gonna start in a squat. Chair pose, for lack of a better word, right? Weight is in my heels, can lift my toes up, and I'm low. From here, hands can stay at your heart in prayer, hand come to your hips, you can bring them out wide. I don't have enough room to do that. Whatever you want to do with your hands. As long as the chest is open and proud, you're good. From here, level one, staying low, we tap it out. Make sure you have enough room to extend the leg fully long, right? We don't want you hitting the wall. So if you have to move, make sure you have that. This is level one, staying low, tapping it out. Cool? We're all gonna start in level one this time. We move in three, two, and one, sink low. Tap it out, tap, tap, tap. Staying low, staying low. Low. Low, proud chest for five, four, three, two, and one. Shake those legs out. This next one, staying in this level one, play with picking up your speed. Three, two, sink down, one, go. So see how fast you can go. This is cardio, building legs. Sinking low, sinking low. Let those glutes work for you. Good. For three, two, and one. Whew, rise up, give those legs a shake. Level two. We can take it a step further. You can stay low and hop out, hop in. So this is level two. Take it or leave it. We move in three, two, one, go. Hopping in, hopping out, or stepping it out side to side. One is not better than the other. It's all movement. We're working those legs no matter what. Here we go, here we go, less than 10. I'm right there with you. Proud chest. Three, two, one. Whew. Shake out those legs. 
This next one brings you to halfway. Three, two, and one. Sink down, tapping it out. We're in out hops. Proud chest, proud chest. Are you still low or are you up here? This is not the move. This is the move. Good. Five, four, three, two, and one. Stop. Shake out those legs. Heart rate should be up if you're taking those hops. Three, two, one, go. And even if you're stepping it out, if you're moving nice and quick, you should be getting breathy. Let this be. Belt your legs. Cardio. Less than 10. Here we go. Three, two, two and a half. And break. Shake the legs. Woo. Four more. Yes, three more, three more. Two, and one, go. In the push, in the push, checking on your form. Are we still low? Can we be quicker? Quicker, quicker, quicker. 20 seconds, it's not that long. Burning it out. Proud chest. Three, two, one. Last two. <clears throat> Let me get a nice break. Well, active recovery. After this, three, two, one, go. In the push. In the push, in the push, in the push. Can you pick it up? We don't have a ton of cardio after this. So give it all you got for this cardio push. I know I'm feeling it too in my legs, but you know what? They're big muscles. Promise they can handle it. And break. One more. Last one. Three, two, one. In the push, 20 seconds. 20 seconds, not that long. Good work. For five, four, three, two, and one. Whew. Good work, guys. Go ahead, grab water. Towel off if you need to. Look at how sweaty I am. Moving on. A little bit of active recovery coming up. No rush. But when you're ready, go ahead and meet me on the mat. I'm also going to grab some water. All right. So, we have side to side, some you'll call them triangle leg poses, leg pulses. I'm gonna demonstrate for those that might not know. I'm actually gonna turn around so you can see my legs, my beautiful tushy. All right, so how this is gonna work? Come on to all fours. I'm gonna start with the right leg extended long, and you're gonna move your leg in a triangle, so it's gonna look like this. Starting out, then go up, other side, up, other side, up, other side. And we'll speed it up. Cool? That's how it's going to work. Go ahead, meet me on all fours. Get ready to move. Three, two, and one. Go. So right leg extend long to the right, come up and out, finding that triangle shape. So the pace should be relatively quick. Back to recovery. Gaze should be down, really letting this glute work for you here. Actively trying to control your heart rate. Woo, feeling the burn already, guys. How can you keep moving, right? As this gets challenging, as you start to feel the leg firing up, working for you. It's okay if your pace slows. It's okay if you have to take mini breaks, but get back into it. Keep moving, right? This is our active recovery. Keyword being active. Letting another part of our body work for us, building strength, less than 10, 
Good work. Keep it up. In three, two, and one. Whew. Quick child's pose. Good work. Go ahead. Get ready to move to the other side. Left leg extends long and out to the left. And go. Coming up through center. Behind you to the other side. Finding that triangle. So out, up, other side. Out, up, other side. Coming up in between. Gazes down at the ground. Really go, reaching up, up when you come in between. Engaging that glute. Burning that booty. Good work, guys. Notice how your heart rate has probably come down by design. Out, up, other side, up, other side, up, other side. Good. Three, two, and one. Hit the knees, push back, quick child's pose. All right, moving on. We have the very beautiful leg lifts. So I'm gonna turn sideways so you can see me as I demo. I always feel so elegant when I do this. Whether I look it, that's a different question. So, moving your mat if you need to. You rest your arm, your head on your arm. My friends on Instagram, you will just see part of my legs. Come to lying on your side. Left hand can be planted on the ground. From here you lift the top leg up and down, up and down. So go ahead and meet me here. The clock will start for here in three, in two, and one. So you're leaning on the right side of your body, head is rested by the right hand, and you're just leg lifting. So beautiful, maybe you point the toes. I know, you do Pilates. This is the Pilates move. So lovely. It's a good active recovery, building strength in our legs. We're gonna take this tap in front of the leg, up through center, behind the leg, up through center, in front of the leg, up through center, behind the leg. Yes, finding our little triangle here. Ah, do you see a theme? Front, center, back, center, front, center. We're almost there. Back, center, front, center, back, center. For a three, two, one. Whew. And just switch out your sides. So come to rest on the left side. Supporting that head with the left hand. Right palm is planted in front of you. We get ready to move in three, two, and one, go. So lifting the leg, lowering the leg. Staying in center for the first few rounds. Notice how your heart rates come down. Active recovery, building strength. Feeling this in the legs. Getting ready to tap it out to the front, center, back, center, front, center, back, center, front, center, back. Good. Keep it up, guys. Front and back, tapping it out. Just a little bit longer. Four, three, two, and one. Break. Whew. Go ahead. Grab water towel off. Awesome. Active recovery. Moving on. Building some of that abs, that core work that I promised you. We have bicycles. So I'm going to turn sideways for you. Chances are you're probably doing your bicycles wrong, or maybe not. Maybe you're really good about it, but a lot of people do them wrong. So when we do our bicycles, come to lying on the ground. My knee should never, ever, 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 ever go past my hips. So like this is not a bicycle. I don't know what this is, but it does little for your ass. Look at how far my knee is coming 
be on my uh, hips. You have to sit up to the knee. It's a dual movement. This is a bicycle. It is a sit up. It's not like a weird bring the knees to your face situation. Just so we're clear. Got it? Cool. So we have bicycles. You have to move slower to do them properly. Move slower. All right. We get ready to move in three, two, and one. Go. Sitting up. Doing the proper bicycle. And yes, I'm not moving as quickly. That's okay. I'm actually giving my obliques a workout. Less than 10, keep it up. And notice the slight twist at the top. Three, two, and one, lie back. Woo, nice little full body stretch. Oh, it feels so good. We rise up in three, two, and one, go. Oh, do I see Emerald watching the live stream? Thanks for the awesome haircut, it still looks great. You can't tell right now, because it's all up, but it's great. Four, three, two, and one, lie back. Woo, nice full body stretch. <sighs> These are quick to burn, and that is okay. We move in three, two, and one, go. Again, movement is success. If you are doing them properly, and you gotta take little breaks, that's okay. That's okay. Your body will build strength. These are hard. They're hard by design. Three, two, and one, lie back. Again, you always have the option to modify, to do a different ab movement. I am so okay with that. We move in three, two, and one, go. You never need my permission to modify. You never need my permission to do something else. If you are moving, you are doing it right. Three, two, and one, lie back halfway. Good work, guys. I know this is a doozy. Building that ab work, I promised you. We move in three, two, and one, go. Twisting it out. Burning it out. Obliques are actually really small muscles. So it doesn't take long for them to get tired, for them to fatigue. Woo, three, two, and one. Woo! I am sure feeling this, guys. I bet you are too. We have three more. Yeah, minute left. And we are in the push. Go. Twisting it out. A nice modification, by the way, is a sit up with a twist at the top, just taking the legs out of the equation. It's an okay place to be. And break. Two more. Decide right now. How are you gonna conquer those two? Three, two, and one, go. Twisting it out. That's where I'm gonna live. For sure, think these are not as pretty as they were when I started out. But my form is still pretty spot on. Three, two, and one. One more. One more. Let's keep it up. Three, two, and one. Go. Twist. Twist. I know. Feel the burn. It's what you came for. Right? Too late to stop now. Woo! Oh, I'm going to that sit up. My body's done. <laughs> We're three, two, and one. Good work. Go ahead, shift the weight forward. Finding that nice uh, sphinx pose, pressing on the forearms. Same just like this. Maybe your gaze goes over to the right. Maybe over to the left. Maybe straight back. Maybe you press into the palms. Find seal. Ooh, nice stretch. That's a tough one, guys. It's even harder. 
if you do them right. <laughs> Go ahead, lower down to your belly, grab water, towel off. I'm gonna demo our next move. We have flutter kicks. So for flutter kicks, couple of options. Coming down onto your back. I like to bring my hands right underneath my booty to give my lower back support. From here, level one, head, neck, and shoulders will stay on the mat. Bend the knees slightly. And for your flutter kicks, you're gonna just play with tapping the toes down to the side with bent knees. Not letting that knee come past the hip when it is up. So just like this. So I'll turn kind of sideways so you can see. Level one, this is your flutter kick. Cool? Level two. Head, neck, and shoulder just staying on the ground, but your legs are straight, and your range of motion is a little bigger. Level three. Head, neck, and shoulders come off the mat. Same move. Cool. So levels one, two, or three. Decide where you need to be. We all move in three, two, and one. Go. Fluttering out. And we're going to play with this range of motion as we move through this. <sighs> breathing. We all have a tendency to hold our breath and ab work. Can you keep breathing? Three, two, and one. Lie back. <sighs> Enjoy the quick break. We move again in three, two, and one. Go. So again. Level one, two, or three. One is not better than the other. If you are level one, making sure that knee does not come past the hip. Helps you build some strength. Good. Four, three, two, and one. Lie back. Little break. We move again. In three, two, and one. Go. If you're in level two, I encourage you to just play with seeing how lifting head, neck, and shoulders off the mat feels. Good. For five, four, three, two, and one, lie back. Wow, I think I just put my head in my door stopper. <laughs> oh, we move again in three, two, and one, go. The dangers of at home workouts. <sighs> breathing, breathing. If you're in level three, maybe you play with removing those hands. It really changes things. Good. Four, three, two, and one. Lie back. All right. If you're in levels two or three, we're going to take our legs horizontal this time instead of vertical. We move in three, two, and one, so legs lift, take them out and in, out and in, crisscrossing. Yes. Just changing it up a little bit for the second half. Good work. Breathing through it, breathing through it, I know. Three, two, and one, break. So when your legs are lifted horizontally like that, you want to keep them more or less at 45 degrees out in front of you. Three, two, and one, go. Maximizing the exercise. Did I mention this is our last one? Ooh, did you see what I did there? Talking you through. You don't even know. Three, two, and one, whoo. Bring those legs to the chest. Give yourself a squeeze. Arms come up overhead, legs extend long. Nice little full body stretch. Big reach, 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 reach. And then draw the knees into the chest. Roll yourself up. Grab water, towel off. We are in our last move. Woohoo! All right. <clears throat> we have toe touches. There's only one level of toe touching. It is called the only, it actually is the only way, but there's fast and slow. Those are your real options. So we come lying on our back, careful of your head. 
legs lift up and from here you touch the toes that's it that's all i got for you cool we move in three two and one go legs up touch the toes quick if you want to make it quick or slow and intentional it's okay if you can't touch the toes then you're just actively reaching up 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 for three two and one take a break maybe rolling up to a seat or lying back we move in three two one go up up maybe you think you're trying to touch the ceiling sometimes i like to visualize climbing a rope whatever you have to do to keep going three two one whoo two down good work three two and one go you guys are so close to being done with this workout you were in super single digits of class it is still early ish on a saturday so you'll have your whole day ahead of you workout done what an accomplishment three two and one Whew. and not just any workout a hit workout which is one of the tougher types of workouts to do we move again in three two and one go pulsing up 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 halfway oh yes breathing through it visualizing that finish line we're so close three two and one you have four more it's not very long you guys can do it we move in three two and one go toe touching i'm gonna hit my head if i don't watch it i already did that once this morning don't need any more head hitting <sighs> building that strength feeling it come on guys come on three two and one three more one more minute of work then we are so done and you should feel really proud three two and one go most people do not do this amount of work that we've just done today ever ever which is both empowering for you and sad for us but something to be proud of three two and one hit is so effective helps boost your metabolism get to burning those calories even when we're done working out three two and one go it helps increase your vo2 max helps you build strength and stamina the benefits are huge when you're so close to this finish line no point in stopping you're too freaking close for three two and one one more no quitting now three meet me there last 20 seconds two and one we're in the push 20 seconds till the finish line till that sweet sweet relaxation pushing through less than 10 keep it up keep it up yes four five four three 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 and break Woo, lie back full body stretch good work <sighs> draw the knees into the chest give yourself a squeeze and roll up to a seat extend the legs long reach forward for your feet just a quick little stretch i encourage you to spend some time after we're done here together stretching more trying to incorporate it a little bit into class but you can never spend enough time stretching or you can meet me tomorrow for a yin yoga class at one for even more stretching right here go ahead lie back all the way onto your back i think shavasana that final moment of rest just for a little bit i know some of you guys do not like shavasana and think it is unimportant i know who you are it is so important for your body 
to help it move out of this heightened exercise state back into its normal resting living state. Helps out your parasympathetic nervous system, which helps tell your body to calm down. And if you think Shavasana is unimportant, you want to skip it, you do skip it. When we're in this quarantine time, maybe that is your work. Learning to be okay with something you think is unimportant or unnecessary and accepting maybe there's something to it. If millions of people are doing it, people that are leaders in spirituality, health and wellness, science, all say it's important, maybe you heed their advice. Just food for thought. You can stay here through the extended Shavasana if you would like, or you can start to reach up and over for a quick full body stretch. And roll over onto your favorite side. Gently pressing up and over into a seat. Eyes closed, hands at your heart in prayer. We'll end class with one breath. Inhale, fill up. Exhale, side out. <sighs> Bring your hands to your forehead. Third eye, seat of your intuition, and bow forward, send your practice. Thank you guys so much. All of your hard work and energy. Woo! Today was a tough one. Every hit is a tough one. Let's be real. Again, I'm offering these classes for free. I will give you the schedule for next week tomorrow. Slightly modified, um, but a lot of great offerings still. These classes will always be free. Please feel free to donate. I'm accepting donations on behalf of the Humane Rescue Alliance, our local animal shelter here in DC, as well as for the Yoga Heights Teacher Fund to support those yoga teachers who are teachers full-time who have lost uh, a huge portion of their income. So, all right guys, enjoy the rest of your Saturday. Take care.